Hi, my name is Paul, and welcome to the next video in our WordPress walkthrough series. Now, if you'll remember, I'm showing you click by click how to make this exact website, just a simple one that I made after an hour or so. I'm showing you how to do it yourself. Now, in the last video, we went over how to change the overall look and feel of your website, how to pick a theme. And what we did is we added a photo and title, things like that. Now we're going to add a static page. Now, a static page is a really helpful tool for websites. Businesses use them for an About Us section, usually, or a Contact Us section. It's really helpful if you have a restaurant to put your menu up there or your hours, things like that. And the ability to make a static page is one of the reasons WordPress is so popular. It's a really powerful tool to make full-blown websites because you have that capability. Now, since this is just a personal website we're making, it's just going to be a little About Me blurb that kind of I typed up. So I'm going to show you how to add that. So let's get started by going to our dashboard. And on the left-hand side, you'll notice we have a tool there called Pages. We're going to click on that. And here's where you can see all the pages you've made already. They have a sample page there that we really don't need anymore. So I'm just going to throw that away, click Trash. But we are going to add a new one. So click Add New right on the left-hand side. And it's going to ask you to call it something. Now, for our purposes, we're going to call it an About page. Okay? So I'll just type in About. And I've already wrote down a little blurb for me to put into this page. I'm going to go grab that. Here it is. I put a favorite quote up there, and I'm just going to copy and paste it into this text box. So this text box is great. If you've used a word processor, it'll look familiar. You can bold text, italicize it, center it, all that stuff. Now, one other thing I want to do in this About section is I want to put a picture in there. So I'm going to click right up here where it says Upload and Insert. Click on that, and you can drag a file there or select it. Okay, I have a file on the desktop I want to use. This one right here, I took these just uh, up in the mountains um, right next to Bluehost. And I'm going to click, yeah, medium file size. That looks good. I don't want it to be too big. And I'm going to click Insert into Post. Perfect. Now I'm going to put it over here, I think. There we go. I'll just, I'm going to put it over on the right, so I'm going to right justify it so the text kind of wraps around it a little bit. I think that looks nice. So now what I'm going to do is publish this by clicking on Publish. So there's one thing I have left to do now that I've published this page, and that's tell my website that this is the landing page I want people to see when they come visit. So I'm going to go to Settings on the left-hand side and go to where it says Reading. And here I can control and specify which page is the first page people see on my website. Instead of saying Latest Posts for Blog, we're going to change it to a static page. And then for the front page, we're going to click this drop-down menu and select About. So I'll select that, click Save Changes. And now what I want to do is go see if those changes took place. So if you remember from the last video, I showed you that trick where you have another tab open, or another window with your website, so you can go toggle back and forth between them as you make changes, see if they actually took place, and do that over and over again. I'm going to click on this and click Refresh, and let's see what happened. Perfect. We're getting there. OK, so you'll notice it says Home, and then About. Perfect. There's the little blurb I threw in there. Ah, there's just one thing that we need to change, and that's the comments here. This is something a lot of people call and ask us about. How do I get comments off of my WordPress web pages? Comments aren't bad. They're good, and they help you engage with your audience. But for a static page, it kind of makes it look like a blog, and we don't really want comments on our static page. So we're going to go back to our dashboard here. We're going to go back to the page that we were working on. We're going to click Pages. You can see the list of pages, and I see the one that we worked on, About. I'm going to click Edit. Now, this is a little trick, okay? Pay attention. Up at the very top, you click Screen Options. And then Show on Screen, we want to be able to turn off discussion and comments. So we're going to click that. And if you scroll down to the bottom now, you have the discussion module open. We're going to disable comments by clicking No, do not allow comments, and trackbacks and pingbacks. We'll turn those off too. All I have to do is click Update. Perfect. Now let's go back to our website to see if that change made a difference. I'm going to click Refresh. Perfect. Now, if you'll notice, my comments section at the bottom is gone. So all I have here now is an About Us section, the quote, my little blurb, and the picture I took, and it looks like we're in business. So now you know how to make a static page. This is one of the key parts to making a successful full-blown website, right? Now, in the next video, we're going to go over blog posts and how to add dynamic content to your site.